Greetings and welcome to Chappers and Lee's new gardening program. Uh, it's not that kind of pitchfork. Oh. No, it is in fact. <laughs> yeah, that was the most rehearsed, uh, appalling <laughs> gag that we've done of the entire day. That's what. That's why hey we man, should never, I we should never was, script anything. That was totally working we until you it then decided it, it wasn't working. It. Um, so, I'm the captain. I'm Rob. He's Rob. And uh, we're going to demo, or largely Rob's going to demo and I'm going to press buttons, um, a brilliant new pedal from those clever people in New York, uh, Electro Harmonics, called the Pitchfork. And um, as the name implies, we're playing with pitch uh, and... A fork? I don't know what the fork bit's for, I suppose. No, it's, but we're using pitchfork It's certainly not turning over soil or anything no. like that, no. <laughs> Do you want a funny story? Well, not a funny story, actually, horrendous story about my mum. <laughs> what, on a pitchfork? Yeah. Where's this going to go? She, when she was a younger girl, she was gardening, she drove a pitchfork through her foot. foot. Yeah, I was just about to say about And this. she was wearing welly boots, and so, and it went through, and she couldn't get out of the boot. Ow. Yeah, so her brother had to come and pull out of her foot. My mum. Metal. Metal. Yeah. yeah, metal in her foot. And ever since then, she's had to have special shoes where the laces go through her actual foot. There's a scar right in the centre of her foot where you see with the, the, yeah. Anyway, the chances of that happening to you using this pedal are pretty slim. Uh, although I'm guessing, I guess if you really stomp down really hard and you had a faulty switch, it's possible that could come up through your foot and cause you some damage. So be careful, That's kids. highly unlikely. Um, okay, so Pitchfork is kind of a bit like a Digitech Whammy. Um, uh, but is it better than a Digitech Whammy? Or well, I mean, it, it, it's 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 cheaper. It's more compact. Well, that's good. Um, and I think yes, I I must admit, I, I, it's tracking really really well. Sounds great. Doesn't seem to alter your kind of tone. What's the retail um, point, Lee? Under a hundred pounds. Mm. Although that excludes the expression pedal. So the idea is, you plug your guitar into here, you go off into your amplifier, and then the pitchfork can be set uh, to have a number of different intervals, anything from just a single semitone shift through to uh, up to octaves. three octaves, uh, either above or below, or it has a dual mode where it'll play um, two uh, additional sort of pitch shifts. And then you have a blend control, so you can decide whether you hear a mix of your original tone and the pitch shifted tone, or just the pitch shifted tone. <laughs> Very, very clever. I like the fact that the, the switch on it is um, can be switched to either be a latching switch or a momentary switch. So for those guys that don't understand That's what that means, great. I'll put I'll show you if you go close up. So we are in uh, latched mode. Of, no, it's momentary mode. So the light only works. The light only works. I'm trying to explain. Oh, sorry, sorry. Lee. They'll visually see what they mean by that. So the light only works when I hold the thing down. As soon as I release, it switches off. If I go to latched mode, it works. So I press it once, it goes on. Press it once, it goes off. That's Very clever. cool. Really, really simple. So... Um, is that the, that, that's the only time I've seen that done? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, so the first... Uh, we'll do a couple of things in the clean with the clean tone so you can get an idea. The first pitch shift... Uh, is actually just a detune, which if you're um, if you're not aware, that's all a chorus pedal is, is, is just basically your original sound with a very, very detuned uh, second sound. And because they're so close together, the, the two signals um, modulate. Phase. Uh, so anyway, so it can be, if you want it to be a chorus pedal, like a this, so. <laughs> Every single setting on here essentially has three modes, kind of, you know, shift down, shift up, or do a dual. In the in the detune mode, it's essentially uh, the, the dual just makes it like a fatter chorus. Um, 
So let's go into, I don't suppose many people will buy it to be a chorus pedal. So let's go into the actual first pitch shift. So the first one is just a simple um, single semitone, you know, minus So if I second. loop a riff, and then you just drop it down and then down and, and just let people see with a, a clean tone. Okay, so what I'm in is, uh, I want to probably go to, I think I'm going to just put it in momentary mode. So, um, I know you want it, no, I'm going to leave it in latch mode so it's always on. So here's just how the guitar sounds at the moment. <laughs> puts you off. I don't know what kind of an amp that you need becomes... to have to use a third octave below, wow. but that is insane. Um, anyway, and of course, it will equally do that in reverse. So if we go back to the beginning and just do that same thing again, but put these shift up, you'll hear this. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get that sort of slightly Mickey Mouse kind of sound to it. But I know on old vocal harmony machines, because essentially what's happening is um, the pitch is also time stretch. Sorry, the, the, the pitch shift is essentially time stretching at the same time. So you get that um, unrealistic kind of or sort of yeah, type yeah, yeah. sound, which I know in vocal processors, they work really, really hard to kind of to, to sort of make the note sound more natural. This isn't really going like that. And certainly on a clean sound, it, I don't know where you would necessarily use that the further you move away from the root note. With gain on the amp, though, it kind of covers all that up and all of a sudden just sounds epically cool. Well, let's just drum um, some chords then and see how it sounds just clean with chords. <laughs> Retains uh, an element of uh, of sort of a convincing original tone up until around about you get you know three Silly. to four semitones away and then it starts to sound quite obviously different on a clean tone that is. Let me show you the dual tone though. You oh, sorry, just keep on clean. clean. So dual again is is where you you end up with two um, uh, pitch shifted notes, one above and one below. So here's the original. <laughs> One, the interval wasn't big enough, so no, you, it literally you just sounds like you're playing like those. Two. Yeah, so it just sounds stupid. Don't want to do a flat two. Never got uh, flat two. So this is a, a major second interval. Quite dissonant still there. You want to make it like a third or something. Try this then. what I've done as well I haven't blended your original signal in so you're only hearing the two harmonized notes now if I go Brian May? 
That doesn't work. No, it's the... I don't think that's why you're buying this pedal. You are buying this pedal to basically have gain so, yeah. and be able to drop shift your, uh, drop tune your guitar. So Let's again, do that. I'm going to blend so that we just hear 100% of the drop tuned tone now. So imagine, are we in E? My, my pitch perception has been I've turned so it off. thrown. Okay. Pitch, uh, concert pitch, E tuning. So if you now need to play that in E flat, uh, you would just go to your minor second uh, interval and in the downward mode and... <laughs> now, being completely honest with you, there is, there, there is a latency. Yeah, it's not a, I mean, it's... <laughs> There is a perceivable latency, but it's very, very small. Yeah. And if you're not sure what we mean by latency, it's that very slightly disconcerting delay between you hitting the note and the note coming out the amplifier. And uh, uh, someone like me won't be able to physically see that happening. It'll only ever be the player that kind of goes. Mm -hmm. You can you can feel it if you're playing really fast, but you don't, that's not really. I mean, for playing juicy fat riffs yeah. down a fifth, and put it down a fifth. A fifth. Whoa. <laughs> So, now what I really like, again, is to go back and use, say, a blended tone with the octave below. So this is a real kind of like gain fattener. Uh, and what we were doing, we might get Rabir back in to do a bit of playing as well, because we were having some fun where, in fact, Rob, you can probably do this, but it was where he was playing like a little riffy bit. And then, a, and then like a, you know, like a bottom string kind of... Um, so it would go like dun 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 And I was only hitting in the octave for the down. Oh right. And it was like it was just sounding like it was just accept accentuating that real fatness. So if Rob just plays some fat riffy bit down. Go to a, a drop. Like just, another two guitars to what you're doing. It's just super, super fat. And I guess it's just like the bass player really tracking what you're sort of playing. Play that um, the, the riff that we've been playing in other songs. You know the dun 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 dun. Because that I think will really benefit. <laughs> don't want to not have that do you when you sort of no because um, it, it, what it's giving you is what another guitar player would give you in a, in a band yeah so it's a very very cool thing so it's very cool now one of the other things that this will do is um i mentioned if you if you put an expression pedal in it you can just use it like a regular whammy pedal so obviously the idea is you know you would set what your maximum interval uh, your maximum pitch shifted note would be and then essentially the expression pedal would slide between um, what you can do though, which I think is kind of cool, is uh, if I go to, let's see, if I go pitch above and we do more like a whammy kind of vibe, in the momentary mode, 
there is a, a, a term called uh, glissando, I think is, is how it's pronounced, but essentially it's, it's, the, it's the slide up. So you've got the original note and the pitch shifted note. And instead of it just going like a straight line, uh, 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 it's, it's literally going to go whoop, 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 whoop. Sick. And, that, and, and what you can do with the expression pedal, there's, a, there's like a preset glissando uh, speed so how fast does it go from the original note to the second one? There's like a preset one in here. But using the expression pedal, you can set your own. So if you just like the glissando to be a little bit longer, so for it to go whoop, whoop, as opposed to whoop, whoop, that sort of thing. I know this is like my, I should just do it with the pedal. I wonder how I? that would sound as a song. Just hit hit a note, just like That's you, great. You can hear there's quite a quick but very musical yeah, kind yeah. of slide. It's quite simple, but in a, it's like a rage against machine. I think what I'll do for the end of this video is just put the pedal on the floor and let Rob, because it's quite difficult one, per, you know, me well, no, just the pressing end, the we'll button. We'll grab beer yeah. out and he can do that because it'll be fun to see. So him again, it. and you could set that to say an octave above and get a real like classic whammy, you know, if you play some. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. But you can hear that kind of Tom Morello-inspired kind of uh, vibe going on as you're, you know, he would have done that using an old uh, original whammy pedal, which would have been rocking backwards and forwards on an expression pedal, which of course you don't have to do now with the pitchfork. You can let it do all that for you just with the touch of a, yep. of a button. Big stuff. Um, so I really, really like this pedal. It's it's great, it's compact, it's extremely affordable. Um, and how much does it cost? Oh, it's under hundred pounds. Under a hundred pounds. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Um, so now I know as you're completely right, Beer was having a lot of fun with this earlier on. Let's bring in and the And he loves off. this kind of stuff. So let's get the uh, Afro Fantastic. Um, <laughs> the Afro Fantastic. <laughs> I really, really like this pedal. Um, yeah, I mean, we, I think this came out just before Christmas and we, uh, it took us about three or four massive deliveries of these before we actually even had one to video demo because they were all pre-sold before they came out. But that's it. Thank you very much to Rabir to coming in for the last uh, couple of minutes of this demo. Uh, if you great. want to see more of Rabir again, I'll put a link to Rabir's own YouTube channel in the description below because uh, he does some cool stuff on his own too. Um, but for now, I've been the captain. He's he was been, Chappers. He's been Chappers. And I'm Rabia. <laughs> you just want a noodle now, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I do. I want less game. <laughs>
Alright guys, my name's Rabia and I've teamed up with Musicism to teach you how to play guitar. <laughs> So I've been playing guitar about 10 years. I'm the lead guitarist in the band Door J, and I also have my own signature model guitar from Chapman Guitars. I have a degree in music performance from the Academy of Contemporary Music. And what I've done here with Musicism is created a guitar course that I really wish I had when I started playing. So with this guitar course, I'm not just going to teach you scales and chords and techniques, but I'm also going to give you the knowledge to become a really awesome guitar player. Throughout the guitar course, we'll be putting together all the skills you've learned so far into some wicked guitar solos that I've written. They get more difficult as you go through, but don't worry, I'll be breaking them down piece by piece. We'll be starting from the ground up, so I'll be teaching you how to hold a guitar pick, to holding the guitar, vibrato and bending, all the way through to awesome guitar solos. By the end of this guitar course, you'll be flying around the fretboard in no time. So let me show you how it works. You'll be following lessons along the learning path that I've laid out for you. We'll learn the guitar step by step, so you don't get lost. Once you've finished the lesson, you'll unlock practice exercises to really nail the skills you've learned. Track your progress in the practice journal, so you know what to work on next time you sit down with the guitar. Earn badges as you practice. If you really want to challenge yourself, get them all. Because if you do, you'll be a really great guitar player. So what's stopping you? Click here to start learning guitar for free, and I'll see you in the first lesson.